welcome to another Chris the Fisho 3 video. Today we're going to be doing a video on something we've been waiting for for a long time. A project of mine that I've had, well, sat just outside there for a while. If you do watch the videos then you'll already know. But we've turned an old P-shaped bathtub into a pond. Now originally I was going to do it for like the goldfish or something. But then I decided, oh okay, I've got a couple of turtles now. And due to the fact of having the turtles and the tank being a little bit too small, I decided that they could have it. Finally, we've got it done. It took us a while with all the filtration and everything. Um, I've had to try an external filter, but I don't know if it was leaking or it just wouldn't powerful enough or what, I don't know. But we've got it working for now, they're happy, they've got a lot more space. I have got plans for the tank that they was in on the bottom of the racking, but if you want to know what I'm going to do with that, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and when you hit the subscribe, which is free, make sure you hit that notification bell on the side of it, and if it's got the brackets on the top, it means you'll get notified every time I post a new video. video. And today's video... We're getting the bathtub project underway. Okay, so so far this bathtub has been an idea for a while. It was parked over there, as you can see, by the dead grass. But because we can't get no electrics out here, it's going to be going just here. Just like that subscribe button is, it's right underneath here. So, we've moved it over, cleaned it all out. I've put a massive wad of silicon with a bit of plastic and stuff over the drain hole so hopefully that will be watertight and then uh, we'll see you on the next step we've got a bit of progress made on the bathtub pond my sealant job seems to have worked because it's leak proof we've got the filters all hooked up we've got the pre-filter down the bottom so it'll come out up the intake come down, go into the pre-filter so you don't have to clean the main filter out as much then it'll go back down the main filter and I've got it so it'll come out the tap as like a little water feature so fingers crossed it'll all work well and I've just got to get a board to go around and box this corner bit off right so the filter wasn't powerful enough to suck it out through the filter and push it back in so I've had to get a power head off one of my filters, my internal filters. That seems to have worked. It's sucking it through, pushing it into the filter, siphoning it round, and then back in and out through the tap. But the only issue is, if I plug the filter back in, then it wants to stop again. And it go, we get back to the original point of it not working. But because the filter's pushing it all through, we don't need to plug the filter in so not only do we get to save electric but at the same time we get a working filtration on the pond whoop, whoop. right so we've got the pump working okay yeah. are you ready yeah. i can't hear you are yeah. you ready yeah. right count with yeah. me three two Oh, here it comes. Yeah. 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 Right, go on then, put your ducks in. Four little ducks went swimming one down in the turtle pond and they ran away. Right, are we good? Yeah. Right. Look at the camera go. Turtle pond's ready! Alright, so unfortunately we've had to go with a slightly different plan because the filter wasn't working, it was leaking all over the floor and it wouldn't work when it was turned on I've had to just basically put an internal filter in there which you can see down here and an internal heater which you can see down there so me and the kids have just decorated it, we've got a load of stones in the turtles will probably move it all around anyway but at least we can move them straight in. Just got to give it a chance to heat up. But because that filter is out of their tank, it's already cycled. And we've got a good flow going around the whole lot. 
finally got the turtles into their new home. I'm not sure whether putting the fake plants in is a good idea or whether they're going to try and eat them. So I might have to take them out. But other than that, I've just put them in so they're just exploring. So I've had to take the plants out because they're trying to eat them. And obviously being fake plants, I don't want them getting ill with plastic inside their stomachs. So I've just put one up there just to support the uh, heat lamp a little bit more, give it a bit of colour until we can get a new external filter. This is what we're working with. Happily munching away on prawns already. Bite me there. got it. He's loving this flow look. <laughs> Is that nice? <laughs> it's not a strawberry. Leave it alone. You're a pest. Hey, Chucky's just chilling over there. And this one wants to keep trying to eat the heater. So I'm going to need to figure out how to do a proper basking station for them because Every time I build one, they keep knocking it back down, whether it was in the tank or whether it's in the bathtub. But here we go. This is what the uh, fun of turtles is. So my mate Ali has got a couple of bits of piping that comes over the side of the tank and a piece of plastic that sits on top. I've got the piece of plastic. I've got the piping up the top of the garden. So I might need to uh, have a basher trying something like that. But for now, I think we're off to a good start. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching. And just so you know, for the next project, we're going to be turning the old turtle tank into the new axolotl tank. Now, if you haven't been following, I'll let you know, we have got two big axolotls in their own tank, and we have also got a baby axolotl, which is just there, and he seems to have grown twice the size, so I want to get this tank all planted up, I'm going to get it all cleaned, obviously, because it's a bit minging at the moment, and I'm going to get it all redone, cleaned up, and I've got some seeds I want to try and plant. I'm trying to get it all, uh, what is it? What should we call it? Axolotl world. <laughs>